Let's turn to the high point of our consumerism. Let me take a drink. It is still. Some of it, Starbucks coffee. I'm regularly drinking it, I must admit it. But are we aware that when we buy a cappuccino from Starbucks, we also buy quite a lot of ideology? Which ideology? You know, when you enter a Starbucks store, it's usually always displaced in some posters there, their message, which is, yes, our cappuccino is more expensive than others, but, and then comes the story, we give 1% of all our income to some Guatemala children to keep them healthy for the water supply for some Sahara farmers uh, or to, to save the forests, to enable organic growing on coffee, whatever, whatever. Now, I admire the ingenuosity of this solution. In the old days of pure, simple consumerism, you bought a product and then you felt bad. My God, I'm just a consumerist uh, uh, while people are starving in Africa. So the idea was you had to do something to counteract your pure, destructive consumerism. For example, I don't know, you contribute to charity and so on. What Starbucks enables you is to be a consumerist and be a consumerist without any bad conscience because the price for the countermeasure for fighting consumerism is already included into the price of a commodity. Like you pay a little bit more and you are not just a consumerist but you do also your duty towards environment, uh, the poor, starving uh, people in Africa, and so on and so on. It's, I think, the ultimate form of consumerism.